It was a trip that changed my life completely. It began in the center of the continent. What was supposed to be simply a gateway to the north ended up being a surprising place that captured my heart. There are secrets here, stories here, like the ones at the Canadian Museum for Human Rights, stories that ignited my passions. The city's creativity, its diversity, it proudly celebrates and embraces its roots and culture. I didn't know it then, but my time in Winnipeg prepared me for what I was about to experience next. Out the window of the train, winding its way north across an ever-changing landscape, I was struck by its sheer beauty. The wildlife, the wilderness, the water, Around every corner was something awe-inspiring. And then I arrived in Churchill, the most colorful place I've ever been. The rugged north, the blue waters of the Hudson Bay, a truly Canadian destination. I shared the water with beluga whales, these magical creatures that seem to be an expression of pure joy. I saw a polar bear, and we locked eyes. And then the way she moved, so majestic, so graceful, so completely breathtaking. And I couldn't help but wonder, what would it be like to see these inspiring animals in winter? A brilliant canvas of white on white, full of life, as these resilient, creative animals with the hardest job on the planet thrive in this environment. Then I watched the sky come alive. The colors of the day were now muted, but those colors of the night, bright and dancing as the northern lights shimmered above me. As I watched the light show, it struck me how Churchill, this meeting place of ecosystems, this melting pot of wildlife, echoed the experience I had in Winnipeg. A meeting place of people, a melting pot of cultures. I now understood how these experiences, these wild and wonderful experiences in Manitoba, were all connected.